This video will demonstrate what it looks like to a student when you make a Google Drive assignment. So here, let's open this assignment here. The student sees the assignment, the title here, a description, if there is one, would go right here. And then the student clicks on the words, my document. And the assignment opens up right here in this window. So the student must be logged in to their TCA Docs account in order for this to work. So if they are logged in on a personal Gmail or any other um, um, Google Drive account, it won't work. But if they're logged in to their TCA Docs account, it will open up right in here. And then um, they can click this little open if they want to, to open it up out in their drive. So if it's easier for them to work in this location, they can do that. Um, but in order to submit, they do need to come back to the school G assignment. So once they've completed whatever they need to do here, they'll click submit here. If a student, like in this case, it looks like a student might be filling out uh, this document on more than one book. So once it's submitted, the student can no longer access this document this way. So the teacher will need to unsubmit it or the student will need to unsubmit it. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, yes. Submit. It's done. Submit it. And when the student comes here, this, if the student wants to continue working on this document, he or she needs to click unsubmit. The teacher can do that as well. Then the student can continue working on it and submit it again. There we go, so the student can continue working and submit again. Each time the student submits and unsubmits, the share settings on the document change, but all of that is done automatically and you don't even have to worry about it. So, looking at the student's drive, you can see that this is a document here. So the student and the teacher can both access these documents through their drive if they want to, but they don't need to. You can do all of your access right directly from Schoology.